Steph, when you hear the crowd chanting MVP, what is that like for you as a player? I appreciate the love. Obviously, it's nice to have fans back in. You can have those type of interactions. And obviously, when we're playing well, it's about, you know, entertainment and, and fun and joy. And, you know, I love those type of environments. Okay. Steph, James Hill, BNC Sports. Uh, you had it going tonight. Uh, you've had it going a lot of nights. Uh, you were hitting a lot of shots. Can you talk about being in the zone? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's been a great run, obviously, and trying to continue it. Nice like tonight where you want to get off to a good start knowing, um, you know, we should win this game and they are going to come out and try to, you know, give themselves some life early. We wanted to take that away. And offensively, it's, it's trying to create any type of space. Obviously, when you see the first two go down, you start to find, a, you know, another level of confidence even, you know, to start the game and, you know, try to create an avalanche from there. And uh, we did we did a good job of sharing the ball, taking care of it so that we got great opportunities every possession. And I guess it's a team like that that uh, that helps just build momentum, keep it, and 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 separate yourself, you know, early in the game. So it was a, it was a good, very intentional type of night. Did you know Beal had fifty uh, before you before it tipped tonight? Of course I did. Okay. Did you know how many you needed to to uh, take the lead? No, I didn't go that level. I I watched everybody in the league. I know what he's what he's doing. He's obviously been playing at a high level. But anytime somebody gets fifty, you hear about it. Did you think about it at all from a scoring title perspective, or just hey, Bradley Beal got fifty? That's that is a second thought <laughs> for sure. OKC is a struggling team. You guys did exactly what you were supposed to do tonight. But are there things that you're seeing right now, the way that you're you're executing these games, that makes you really encouraged for the playoffs? Um, yeah, we just want to continue to build good habits and understanding how this team, you know, with the guys that we have available is going to win games and how we're going to do it on both ends of the floor. So. Yeah, they're not they're not a good team and they've got a lot of young guys and you know we've we've played really well against them three times this year, but um the focus is on what you need to do to in order to beat a team like that. You could slip up and miss shots and be uh undisciplined on defense and foul and all that, and then it becomes a game and then you still might win down the stretch, but what it matters is intent, you know, the intentions of how you're going to do it. And, and we only had two turnovers at halftime. And for us, obviously, that's a big sign of, of focus and, um, you know, execution. And that, that, that for us is huge. Steph, you've talked recently about making this season mean something, you know, given that you guys have won a few games here now and, and are in position for possibly the, the number eight seed in this playing tournament. Would that qualify as the season meaning something, do you think? Anytime you can play games that matter and seeing how we do that, uh, that definitely would uh, would suffice. Obviously, it's been a roller coaster year and injuries and all that, but, you know, four games left in the regular season, see what the play-in situation is, try to get into that bracket of eight and take it from there. And those are the games that you want to play in, no matter how the season ends. What are your thoughts on the playing tournament in general, given some of the stars that can end up sort of in those matchups? It is what it is, and we want to be in there because that's where we are in the standings, and that's the only way we're going to get to, most likely going to get to the actual playoffs. So um, no matter what team it is, whatever it is, we have to be able to give ourselves life at the end of the season to be in that situation. Um just enjoy what that means for a team that's been through what we've been through this whole season. I think the league might enjoy Lakers Warriors seven eight in the plan. That's a meme.
it's def- <laughs> how how big of a boost does does Draymond scoring um, give you guys when when you're playing with a short rotation and missing a lot of points from guys like Kelly and Damian? I missed the first part. Sorry, we're just who? It's just about um, Draymond scoring. Oh, and Draymond scoring. Oh, yeah, it's it's huge. Obviously, it's for him to <clears throat> know uh, how certain teams are going to defend us. That he's going to get certain shots, and we always have confidence in him to to take those. And um, you know, tonight it looked it looked great. He looked confident, and knew what he was doing, and that should carry over to. Um, you know, games coming up where if he has those opportunities, obviously he's looking to play make and <clears throat> you know get guys involved and use the way that teams are defending him against him um, in terms of his playmaking abilities. Um, you know, but we're we're really good when he's an, another threat, especially behind the line. You know, whatever he gives us there, and uh, just being decisive with what he's doing with the ball, that's always great for us. Steph, with being as accomplished as you are, you won MVPs, championships. What do you see in the future for you, like future goals that you set for yourself that you want to accomplish? I have no idea. It's all about what's happening now. It's the way that I've been successful and the way that uh, I've approached the game and enjoy what I get to do. Worry about the future when it comes. Um, Every moment that I get to play is, you know, it's just an opportunity to keep pushing the envelope and um, just putting in the work, man. I don't really look at anything other than what's happening right now. Steph, how important for you as a team is to bring the same intensity until the end of the season? And how important is to bring the best basketball of your season at this point? It's huge. We've talked about it, you know, over the last couple of months that we want to peak at the right time. And, you know, we've de- we dealt with a lot of adversity recently. We've had guys that have been out that were huge parts of our rotation. We've had a guy step up and, you know, we understand what we have available right now and how we're going to win games at this point in the season. Just got to come with it with, with great energy, you know, the best we can every night down the stretch. And playing tournament playoffs, just try to get as greedy as possible. Knowing how hard you chase free throws, perfection at free throw line, and you've had games lately where you've missed like a whole free throw. Uh, uh, how satisfying was it to make all of them tonight? And what was more satisfying to you, the perfect free throw shooting or the 11 threes? <laughs> uh, I mean, I am a perfectionist at heart, so all of it is – you ever – you hate missing any type of shot, but free throws especially because, you know, it's just you in the room. Ain't nobody can to blame other than yourself. So, um, yeah, that's usually a sign that I'm in good shooting rhythm when you have to step up to the line. I even try to get picky of how you make it. Like, that's the, the standard that you try to set. So, me and Draymond have had some good laughs over that where – he made a comment. It felt like it was like six, seven games since I switched one. And then um, uh, when I got fouled on the three tonight, I made I switched all three of them. So I'd like to have a good little back and forth. The game within the game, if you will. Steph, as you've been on, on this tear, speaking of that shooting rhythm, I'm just curious if the guys who have tried to defend you, if they're saying anything to you like tonight after you hit a few of those shots, is anybody turning? and say something? No, nah, not really. Um, I don't really expect it either. But, you know, if you know some guys more personally, maybe there's a little bit more back and forth. But, um, yeah, it's just – we're just, just hooping, enjoying what we do. Um, maybe they're not enjoying it, but enjoying what we do. Hi, Steph. Steph. Uh, well, uh, here from Argentina, congrats on the win and this amazing night. For the first time in your career, the Warriors are fighting for the last playoff slots. Clay, James, Eric, Kelly, and now Damian are injured. Which is their emotional role in these finals regular season games? It's the next minute of mentality. Like we said, we've been dealt, dealt with a lot of adversity and a lot of other teams have been in that same kind of boat. but. You know, we're 
playing eight guys right now um, for the most part. And we understand what it's going to take for us to win. And that is bringing good energy. And they, you know, um, flying all over the court on both ends of the floor, sharing the ball, guys having confidence. So you know, until we do get some guys back, it, it, it's, it's, it's all we got. And we got we to gotta show up because um, this is obviously the most important time of the season. Steph, you finished with 11 threes. Um, did you think you had a shot at catching Clay? And yeah, just did you think you have a shot? Uh, I, I thought about it towards the end of the third quarter. But I did look, obviously looked at the score and knew I wasn't probably going to play in the fourth. Um, so I'll have to try again. <laughs> Step the bench helped out. Uh, JP chipped in 16. Uh, uh, Juan T chipped in 12. Uh, guys were helping out offensively. Um, and, you know, and they helped the cause every game. But can you just talk about the, the guys that help out and, and help win games? Like I said, it's, it's, it's an eight man rotation right now for the most part. And everybody's going to have a part in us winning. Uh, it's not just going to be me. Scoring, you know, doing my, my part. It's not just going to be Draymond, you know, playing that well-rounded game and inserting himself on defense. Uh, you know, Loon, Vase, JP, Wanty, Mike, Wiggs, obviously. Everybody has a certain role and, and we have a certain expectation of, you know, again, what it's going to take for us to win um, until we do get some more guys back and, and we don't know how long that's going to be. So, yeah. Uh, there's, there's kind of a power in that, knowing that it's, you know, this is what we got. We got enough to win. Let's go do it. And, and that's the mentality you got to have at this point.